Westerplatte. A cinematic view of the world of war. This analysis examines the presentation of the world of war in the film Westerplatte, directed by Stanisław Różewicz, with cinematography by Jerzy Wójcik. The initial part of the film shows the crew of the Polish military post on the Westerplatte Peninsula, the place where World War II began. They are preparing to defend the peninsula in case of war. Just before the start of hostilities, the camera follows one of the soldiers, focusing the viewer's attention on him. Creative sensitivity of Stanisław Różewicz manifests itself in the way in which the outbreak of the war is presented, not only through the people's reaction, but also that of the weakest and completely defenseless creature, commanding Major Henryk Sucharski's dog. The war that begins encompasses the entire world depicted in the film. The war. Niech Krawowski wytacza działo. Tak jest. Barak's alarm was filmed in expressionist poetics. Co? The intense presence of light and depth of shadow is accompanied by a great dynamic of movement in the frame. Jerzy Wójcik's camera accompanies soldiers in battle. He is right next to them in the trenches, liaison trenches and shooting positions. Władek tam gdzie byłeś? Tak jest. Dominiak, na lewe skrzydło. Zajmiecie stanowiska, jak musisz nie ogień. Strzelać na mój rozkaz. Tak jest. Czekaj. No i Sadyk. When the grenades explode, the camera records the ground tremor. Stanisław Różewicz holistically presents a world that has been seized by war. He shows soldiers fighting and the forest burning beside them. Petzelt. A dead man is shown in a similar fashion as the wall of the destroyed guardhouse. Może mi się nie utrzymać. Trzeba przygotować wycofanie na jedynkę. The dead soldier buried under the sand after the explosion is grey, like the earth that receives his body. To show the effect of the explosion in the earth covering the man, small pyrotechnic charges were detonated on the set of the film. This was the only way to achieve a believable, for the survivors of the war, distribution of the scattered sand on the lying figure. Also, the scene in which Lieutenant Pajonk is wounded is characteristic of the way the world of war is shown in the film. Dobrom, tu 
bullets injure the soldier and at the same time destroy the trees around him. It is worthy to note that nature was spared during the making of the film. The same tree trunks felled by bullets were used repeatedly. The scene in which Major Sucharski gives the order to surrender shows the loneliness of the commander at the time of making such a difficult decision. The Major emerges from the depths of the frame as if leaving the world of his thoughts. Proszę się zająć wywieszeniem białej flagi. Nikogo więcej nie pytam. Proszę wywiesić białą flagę! After deciding to surrender, he disappears again into the depths of a dark corridor. Da kommen die Banditen! In the last scene of the film, the surviving defenders of Westerplatte walk among trees shattered by shells. The soldiers and the surrounding forest, almost completely burned out, are united in the final image of death brought by war. <laughs>